An order of service for noonday, Thursday, October 29th. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplication because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought very low, and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of the Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. And children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Today we remember the Right Reverend James Hannington, Bishop, and his companions, the Martyrs of Uganda, 1885. Among the new nations of Africa, Uganda is the most predominantly Christian. Mission work began there in the 1870s with the favor of King Mutesa, who died in 1884. However, his son and successor, King Wanga, opposed all foreign presence, including the missions. James Hannington, born in 1847, was sent out from England in 1884 by the Anglican Church as missionary bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa. As he was traveling toward Uganda, he was apprehended by emissaries of King Wanga. He and his companions were brutally treated, and a week later, October 29, 1885, Most of them were put to death. Hannington's last words were, Go tell your master that I have purchased the road to Uganda with my blood. The first native martyr, who was the Roman Catholic Joseph Mpasu Balakudembe, uh, who was beheaded after having rebuked the king for his debauchery and for the murder of Bishop Hannington. On June 3, 1886, a group of 32 men and boys, 22 Roman Catholic and 10 Anglican, were burned at the stake. Most of them were young pages in Wanga's household, from their headman, Charles Luanga, to the 13-year-old Pizauto, who went to his death laughing and chattering. These and many other Ugandan Christians suffered for their faith then and in the next few years. In 1977, the Anglican Archbishop Janani Luam and many other Christians suffered death for their faith under the tyrant Idi Amin. Thanks largely to their common heritage of suffering for their master, Christians of various communions in Uganda have always been on excellent terms. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, by whose providence the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church, grant that we who remember before you James Hannington and his companions may, like them, be steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ, to whom they gave obedience even to death, and by their sacrifice brought forth plentiful harvest. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is another day, O Lord. We know not what it will bring forth, but make us ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If we are to stand up, help us to stand bravely. If we are to sit still, help us to sit quietly. If we are to lie low, help us to do it patiently. And if we are to do nothing, let, it, let us do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give us the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.